Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. And before I start, I just wanted to say thank everyone so, so much. You guys are awesome. I hit 60 plus subs. 60 plus. You guys are incredible. It means the world to me that all of you would support me and subscribe. I also wanted to apologize for the lack of uploads. I'm planning on doing weekly uploads for you guys. Because holy crap, you guys just, you guys just rock. Uh, if you are new, please subscribe to the channel, uh, it'll really help me out, and let's get into this crazy direct that happened this morning. That direct had me absolutely sleep. I'm convinced that this is going to be the best Smash game ever. It was so much to handle. In this video, I'm going to give my analysis and my thoughts on the direct. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing we get from the Direct is Simon Belmont. Freaking Simon Belmont right off the bat as a new character. Personally, I think Simon looks like an awesome character. His weapons are similar to the Castlevania game, and his final smash, the Grand Cross, looks awesome and deadly. He looks like an awesome character to use. They also added the new dark and eerie stage, Dracula's Castle. Um, you get to avoid the monster enemies and Dracula. It looks pretty cool, and I would really like to play it. Uh, they also added 34 new new and classic music tracks, which are which is also insane. But we aren't done yet. Alucard, the son of Dracula, is an assist trophy. It's sick that he could dodge attacks and turn into a bat to get your opponents. His attacks are basic, but they look pretty neat. Also, Richard Belmont joins the battle as an Echo Fighter for Simon, and he looks really good as well. Also, are we just going to ignore the fact that Luigi freaking dies in the direct? I mean, the dude straight up died, and he forgot his one-ups, and he just turned into a ghost and dead. I thought that was kind of creepy. Uh, there were also two new Echo Fighters announced, Chrome and Dark Samus who are another awesome addition to the roster. Some rem and some remastered stages were announced as well. Great Bay, Shadow Moses, Living Room, Gower Plain, Figure 8 Circuit, Flat Zone X, Pokemon Stadium, Garden of Hope, Brinstar Depths, Summit, Unova Pokemon League, Magikint, Gamer, Final Destination, Fountain of Dreams, Saffron City, Dreamland, Hyrule Castle, and Congo, and Congo Jungle. All of these look amazing remastered, and it was very exciting to see the old ones that many people, including myself, enjoyed. I'm most excited for Shadow Moses, Summit, and Gamer. They also announced a new Mario Odyssey, New Dog City stage, which looks really, really fun. I think the course looks very simple, but also looks amazing. The background looks incredible with the city, and I love how Pauline and her band come out to sing while you are playing. The number of stages this year is a whopping 103, which is almost half of the Wii U's 56, including the DLC. Every stage is available from the beginning, which means you don't have to unlock any, which is nice right from the get-go. You could play any stage. You also have the option to turn off stage hazards, which I thought was a good idea because sometimes you don't want the hazards and just fight your friends without any issues. They added a stage morph too, which I thought was eh. I mean, I thought it was cool that you could switch between stages, but I could never see myself really using it. Uh, the 900 music tracks in this game is also just super insane. And the fact that you can connect your headphones and play music while you're not even playing the game is insane too. It's like the Switch turned into like an MP3 or something. Next up is the Stage Select. I think it's neat how you could go in order, make the loser pick the stage, or do Battlefield or Omega only. It makes it more interesting due to the fact that one player could pick a stage you aren't so good at, or you are really good at, changing up the odds a bit. Also in Sudden Death, the camera zooms in, which I think is a nice touch to make you like, panic and stuff, go quicker. Chargeable Final Smashes were also announced to fill up a, uh, sorry if I butcher this, a gouge to a weaker Final Smash, which is awesome, and no two smashes will happen at once, 
which I'm glad they did that because that would be way too chaotic. Like, Smash is already, like, super chaotic right now, so I'm glad. Uh, there were also some new game modes, such as Strike Squad, which is a match where each player uses, every round uses their own fighter to try to get a point on their team. Also, Tourney Mode was announced. It's like having your own Smash tournament, which I think is awesome. It's like brackets and stuff. Um, Smash Down was also announced, and it's a mode where you can't use one of the same character more than once, causing a good use of strategy. There's also a new and improved training mode, where it shows many statistics which could be really helpful. Classic mode also makes its return. I think all of these modes are incredible and are definitely unique. Um, items were also announced. There's a freaking banana gun, which is both hilarious and deadly. It looks amazing. Upon use, you could throw it on the ground to make your enemies slip. There is also a killing edge, which gains more power when it glows, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, a bomber, which looks very powerful and a good way to get opponents away from you. Uh, death, death Sigh, which instantly KOs enemies who have low damage. I think, I think that's really cool. Uh, the Staff, which deals more damage depending on how far the player is. The Ramblin' Mushroom, which reverses the enemy's controls. That's from uh, Mother 3, actually. Uh, and the Rage Blaster, with the higher uh, damage you have, the stronger it is. I think all of these weapons are new, fresh, and awesome. I especially like the Ramblin' Evil, Evil Mushroom because it looks so weird and it has a good concept to it. I also like the Banana Gun because it looks funny, yet it's insanely powerful. Uh, Pokemon and Assist Trophies were also magnificent, of course. When I saw the... Oh god, sorry sorry if I messed this up too. Uh, a Lolian... A Ex executor? I don't know. It was like that palm tree guy. I flipped out. He looks so cool. It blew my mind. It was it was amazing. Abra was cool considering he would help you by placing the other fighter in a bad situation. Uh, sorry if I butcher these Pokemon names, by the way. Solgelo looks OP. That's all I gotta say. He's like the lion guy. Uh, to be honest, uh, Lunala... Didn't really interest me. Uh, Mimikyu looks awesome. Having that huge attack. Uh, and Puyu Miku also, also didn't interest me as he looks pretty easy to avoid. Uh, Vulpix and Aeolian Vulpix look cool. Each having the freeze power or the fire power. Uh, Marsh Marshadow is cool with his stun and hit. Ditto was the one I thought was very, very cool. Uh, turning into a clone to trick other players and can also do damage with the clone. Uh, the assist trophies were really cool as well. Having Zero, Knuckles, Crystal, Claptrap, Cap'n, Chef Kowalski, I don't know. Gray Fox, Nikki, Shovel Knight, and Moon. All of them look like a blast to use. As seen in this picture right here though, Ashley from WarioWare will not be a playable character, being an assist trophy. Rathalos, by the way, um, this assist trophy looks crazy. He's an assist trophy slash boss that has a wide range of attacks, and most of them look like they are painful. Uh, Rathalos looks very imitating, and it looks like it's going to be awesome. Uh, the main menu was announced, and it looks easy to understand, unlike the Wii U's one. And it looks great looking. Uh, Sakurai censored a mode out, which I thought was really interesting, that we couldn't, couldn't see yet. Uh, my prediction is that if they're saving this, it's probably going to be a story mode, like uh, Brawl had. But I guess we'll have to find out. Maybe it'll be like a Waluigi mode or something. Uh, after thinking it was over, you hear a rumbling in the background. Uh, King K. Rule is in Smash. If you guys haven't seen my top 10 Smash video, Smash characters that I want, uh, King K. Rule was on my list. He was a character that I wanted for a really long time. He was a character that the fans wanted for a really long time. But in the trailer, he looks like everything I wanted. 
His fighting style is great, and he looks amazing, considering this is the first time we are seeing him on Switch graphics. So that was the video, guys. Daddy Sakurai has done it again. He's amazing. He's just... I, I'm speechless. He's great. The Direct was a was an instant 10 out of 10 for me, maybe even 11 out of 11. I'm glad the Fortnite Gunner, Minecraft Steve, or Sans being an Echo Fighter for Ness weren't announced because that would be bad. That would be really bad. And even though Waluigi isn't in Smash, let's hope Waluigi's Taco Stand or something like his own game happens because Waluigi is a boss. He gets all the women, all the money. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, if you haven't, please subscribe for more content, comment what you think about this video below, and comment any feelings that you have about the Smash Direct, and I love you guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye.